I'm sure many of you are familiar with the marvelous file sharing application Dropbox which allows you to set up a shared folder on multiple computers in such a way that when files are placed in that folder on any one of those computers they're immediately uploaded to Dropbox and then downloaded back to the other computers should they be on and connected to the internet so that you can keep you can transfer files from one computer to another and keep the files synchronized with one another automatically. It's one of the top ten applications on both computers and mobile uh, devices used today. It's an absolutely wonderful tool but it does have a couple of drawbacks. One is that of course the your files do have to reside on a third-party server in some cases that may not be desirable for security purposes. Another problem of course is cost. Dropbox very generously does give you a 2 gigabyte limit for file storage and synchronization for free. But if you work with large files like video files regularly this is not adequate and if you need more space and transfer bandwidth Dropbox is going to charge you for it, and a not insignificant amount. There's just been announced an alternative to Dropbox, which is completely free and does not involve the storing of your synchronized files on third party servers. It's provided by an organization called BitTorrent. You may have heard of BitTorrent in reference to illegal file sharing. It's a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing protocol which is used for nefarious purposes quite frequently. But the BitTorrent protocol itself is an extremely useful tool and is used by many reputable and indeed critical organizations ranging from the Human Genome Project to CERN, the European Physics Agency. It runs the Large Hadron Collider, so it's a it's a reputable, very useful protocol. And the new Dropbox alternative that's been produced by them is called BitTorrent Sync. The easiest way to get to this is just to Google BitTorrent Seek, as I've done here, Sync, and take the first hit. This little diagram describes how BitTorrent Sync works. You install a small application with minimal resource requirements on each of the computers among whom you wish to share files. You then pick one or more folders on the hard disks of one of these machines to share and synchronize among the other computers you generate what's called a secret, a private key that prevents anyone else from ever seeing these files or intercepting them and you enter this private key or assign it to folders on the other computers which will receive the synchronized files from the original computer. Once this syncing is set up it is by default bidirectional that is, any changes made to any of these files on any of these computers will automatically be synchronized with all the others. And again, this happens directly, peer-to-peer, -peer, without, uh, without the intermediacy of any third-party servers. This has implications for more than just security. For one thing, the transfers are a lot faster than they would be with Dropbox because there's no third-party server in the way and the BitTorrent protocol is the most efficient file sharing protocol on the internet. Also, you no longer have any size limits. You can share files of any size and you can share as many of them as you like. You're no longer looking at that 2 gigabyte or whatever file syncing limit with Dropbox or any other such file synchronization service. 
and since there's no third party service involved the only things you need are the an, a good internet connection and the BitTorrent sync clients which are completely free so this whole process becomes completely free I think I'm glad I don't have any Dropbox stock so how do we make this happen all we have to do is go to the download button here on the BitTorrent sync front page pick our computer type this will work on Windows Mac or Linux devices go through a very simple download install process no I don't care to get more email run the btsync.exe client installer I'd recommend just taking the defaults here for the first machine at least we'll just do the standard setup we'll agree to the terms of service and click next we have to pick a folder to sync at this point we can pick any folder on our machine or we can create a new one I'm just going to take the default here click next and here is my folder secret this is a an encryption code that you will need to have uh, when you connect any other devices to this synchronized folder so I'm going to go ahead and put that on my clipboard and email it to myself continuing I'm now done there is a tour that you can continue through that will give you some more information but that's what this video is for so I'm just going to skip the tour and my BitTorrent sync is now set up on my first computer I can add as many more synced folders as I wish I'll just stick with the one I've got for the moment so how do I connect a folder on another computer to this uh, BT sync folder here well, here I am on another machine and in this time while I could just do a standard setup and set up the synced folder after finishing that I'm gonna go ahead and tell it right off the bat that I have a secret I'm going to of course accept the terms and I'm going to paste my secret here which I have emailed to myself here it is obviously I don't want to have to type that out <laughs> So I'll copy and paste it into my secret blank there and then go next though I don't have to I'm just going to use the same default sync folder again though I could sync any folder uh, including a, a new folder that I create on the second machine with the BT sync folder on the uh, first computer well, let's just keep it simple and I'm going to skip the tour and I'm done and those two folders are now synced with one another all right let's find that BT sync folder it's in my the root of my user folder right here and let's put something in that folder find a document here and really matter what it is I'll copy that we'll find that BT sync folder again 
and paste into it. Within just a few seconds, that uh, document is going to appear in my BT linked BT sync folder on the other computer. And there it is. I can add documents to the BT sync folder on the second computer. And they'll just as quickly be synced back with the uh, into the BT sync folder on the on the first computer. And that was real time, folks. I did not pause the recording in the process. And much of that was simply application overhead. It doesn't take a whole lot longer to uh, sync files of many megabytes between the uh, uh, between two machines or more machines. Uh, again, there's no file size limit, no limit to the total size of the synced folders, and it's all free. And this is true synchronization. If I delete one of these files from either of these two computers, it will then be deleted from the BT sync folder on the other computer. If I edit one of these files on one of the computers and save it, making changes to the file, the file will be resynced with all the other synced uh, folders, and uh, those changes will be reflected within seconds on the other machines as well. All of this happening without any other service or any other resources being involved. This is the basic functioning of the BT Sync client, but there are other things that you can do. If you look at the Getting Started page under the BitTorrent Sync, not only does do you get uh, instructions on how to get started, as we just saw, but you also see that you can have one-way synchronization, which means that files that are synced into the a linked folder on another computer, if edited or deleted, do not affect the files stored on the primary computer. This gives you the ability to store files on your computer and sync them with other computers, uh, files that you don't want deleted or modified or whatever. You can also share these files very securely with other people who are willing to install the BT Sync client on their machines as well by sending them a so-called one-time secret that they can use one time to uh, acquire certain files that you've placed into a synced folder without giving them more or less permanent access to your synchronized folders. So with BitTorrent Sync, you can have almost all of the functionality of Dropbox or other similar file synchronization services absolutely free, and the setup process is really no more complex than that for Dropbox itself. Amazing new tool. Hope you enjoy it.